have a good time at your peace rally because you'll all be dead. There's, you're born evil. I don't know, but... All right, Neil's on line one. Hi, Neil. How are you tonight? Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing tonight? Doing pretty good. Good, good. You know, if you put those two numbers together, you end up with 100 dead boys. I'd like to know where the priest falls in that question. Where, where, the, where, where the pastor is? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, sure. Good, Neil. His name is Dave, by the way. Thank you for your call. Well organized. Barnaby's on the line. Barnaby, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing very well, gentlemen. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. Good, good. Okay, well, you know, I don't know from Benjamin what have you or, or anything like that. I just, you know, catch... Uh, Roy is on the line. Roy, thanks for calling tonight. Hi, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. What do you think? Okay, well, I'll tell you what I think. Um, in, to, quote, to quote you earlier, I do think we would get totally ripped on this deal because to get it, it just leaves me feeling horsey. I think it would be a total mistake to do it. All and right, Roy, I'm thanks for your comments. Few. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Jedi? Jedi? Jedediah. Jedediah, correct. Got it. Yeah, great name. I like it. Thank you very much, do, Doug. Do you, do you have a uh, nickname with that? A Jetty. They call me Jetty. Jetty. All right. That I like that. Jetty. Right, Jetty. I saw Rush last night. Uh, and now the other thing, Jetty. Here's your head. Since it's illegal, the kids are running to it. If it was 73 and everyone was smoking pot and stuff. And what Jetty you know said. It. Am I still online, guys? Yeah. Jump through the phones right now. Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm doing all right. Thanks. Somehow I thought you might have a, an opinion on this. So where are you going <laughs> with it? You know I do. Well, ba <laughs> basically, I think it's neither here nor there whether or not we, uh, we know for a fact that it's a terrorist or if it's al-Qaeda. But if we have a good indication that it is, I think we'd be remiss putting the cart before the horse not to torture them even harder. All right, let me ask you the question, an ethical question that comes sure, out of this. Sure. Well, now that everybody's watching terror vision and the only thing we're worried about is terrorism, I'd say use it in those cases. But, you know, for a drug dealer who's in jail, selling crack or whatever obviously we wouldn't want to be using it there well well yeah but still it's not drug dealing i mean there are other ways to solve that problem than going to the dealer you have to go to the need of why people want to do drugs in the first place so it's not like drug dealers don't fly planes into buildings so take care of these guys all, all right. right as usual gordon thank you for your comments all right well let's go to the phones hank is on the line hi hank hey how are you doing tonight i am doing well uh your uh, your thoughts or concerns well, I mean, I think it's pretty much everyone around here's basic concern. It's just that, you know, I grew up in the Fraser Valley myself, and I'm lucky to have not grown nine legs because of it. We'll do whatever the hell we can to keep this damn thing out of here because this is just, uh, I'm outraged, and uh, the power lines as well. I mean, it's just, it's terrible, and I hope we can stop Chuck from getting his frickin' way. All right, Hank, thanks for your call. Well, we, we, we had two swear words and one that was close, so we, you know, obviously uh, Hank is, represents probably quite a few people. Well, I, I wasn't able to hear what Hank was saying, but... Well, listen, uh, we've got to believe it's Nagi on the line. We'll come back and take Nagi as our first phone caller right after the break. Jam up the lines. All right, Nagi's on the line. Hi, Nagi. It's actually Nogi. I'm sorry, Nogi. No problem. I mean, I suppose there's some people who are born with that capacity to be sick and twisted towards... Things. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yes, right. <laughs> These are all Republican states, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, good comments, though, and uh, we'll go on and get some other people's opinions. Thanks for your call. Uh, Gussie's on the line. Hey, Gussie. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Are you a video uh, game player? I, you know, I used to be a video game player for a while, and I got way too into it. My friends actually made this game. It's quite violent, called Chicken Horse, and you just run around shooting nonstop. And uh, I had to put Chicken Horse away because it was just way too much fun. And so I think it is kind of like a drug. And uh, you got to kind of take control at some point because uh, it's addictive, I'm telling you. Does it kind of bother you, Gussie, uh, when you, I mean, this game that you were describing to me sounded a little bit violent. Yeah. It is, but I had people downloading it, and they had, there were, actually, I found out in the little chat room that there were kids playing Chicken Horse as well. So it's like, it's, they're rated, but the parents have got to be on the ball. Factures all the time, but, oh, you know, sure, par sure. parents off. Yeah. Just like anything else out there on the computer that the kids can get into, dangerous chat rooms and things like that, you've got to be on top of it. Yeah. Uh, very good, Gussie. Thanks for your call. Gotta get it. We gotta take care of these guys. All, all right. right, as usual, Gordon. Thank you for your call. <laughs> Neil's on the line. Hi, Neil. Hi. How you doing? Doing all right. Oh, geez, basketball. You know, I, uh, I'm a, I'm a tall midget, really. I'm six feet five inches. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. It's, and uh, I played basketball for a year, and uh, during uh, the course of the year, I, I tripped over my feet so much. The coach said, "Just wear your uh, street clothes and support the team." <laughs> so I yeah, put a that, horse's head on it. That that'll that'll about work, eh? So uh, yeah, I think there's too much quibbling going on, too much fighting. You know, I I I'd rather just I'd rather see chickens and horses play basketball than what I watch on the NBA on the weekend with my buddies. All right, well that's a good point. Thanks, Neil. 
Hey, Ray, how you doing? Hey, Ray Laser here, doing very well. How you doing? Hey, Ray Laser here, doing very well. How you doing? Hey, Ray Laser here, doing very well. How you doing tonight, Doug? Doing, doing fine. Excellent. What, what bugs you, Ray? Well, I know you only got 30 seconds, so I'll make it quick. Uh, I go to the uh, supermarket, what have you, uh, make a purchase. Uh, I'm waiting in line to make a purchase, sorry, and someone gets, someone who's in front of me, they'll pull out their credit card or their bank card, or, you know, some of these people won't even pull out, and it really gets me, a check, and they'll write a check for $2, and it, it really gets me down, it really does. Yeah, come on, give me a break, I'm trying to get through the line. I, I hear you, Ray, good comment. Thanks, say hi to Gussie for me. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely away. Well, by the way, Gus, about the impending war, Roy is on the line. Roy, thank you for calling online tonight. Good evening, Doug. Good to talk to you on this most of historic days. It is. What are your thoughts uh, on the war? We've got two questions tonight. One, what is your thoughts about the war, and what are your thoughts about Canada's involvement or lack of? Okay, well, Canada's involvement's already a little bit uh, polluted because we do have troops in the Persian Gulf area right now who are uh, conducting... Uh, exercises in the battle on the war on terror, but inadvertently they will also be doing uh, whatever bidding comes along, which will serve the interests of the military in attack on the uh, leader Saddam Hussein. I take uh, part two. I take a pretty unpopular opinion in Canada. You know, I think I'm one of the nine guys that thinks this way, and that is that uh, we should be going in. We should stand by our neighbors. Uh, this does reflect into the war on terror, though bringing it in as a reason to go to war with Iraq doesn't really apply because I don't believe they had too much to do with 9-11, but those weapons getting loose into the hands of uh, the terrorists is going to unleash something that none of these little small-minded people can possibly imagine. And when they're, you know, when they're all sick and dying and uh, airborne disease is just spreading like wildfire, uh, you know, have a good time at your peace rally because you'll all be dead. Have a good time at your peace rally because you'll all be dead. <laughs>